Two particularly useful HTML5 form attributes are placeholder and pattern. You can see the effect of the placeholder attribute in this form. Both fields have text that's displayed slightly greyed out to act as a hint to the user. As soon as you put the focus in one of the fields, the text disappears. It only reappears if you move to a different field without entering a value. In addition to using the placeholder attribute, I've added regular expressions to each field using the pattern attribute to enforce the specified format. For zip code, it says here that I need to enter a five-digit code. Well, my name has got five letters in it. Let's see what happens if I enter that and submit. No, it's been rejected by the pattern attribute. If I try it with five digits, one, two, three, four, five, it's OK. Now let's try it with the date. I'll put in the date in my usual British way and attempt to submit. Now again, it's been rejected because it's not in the format that was requested by the placeholder, which is mm stroke dd stroke yyyy. So let's add those attributes to the form in Dreamweaver CS55. Select the zip code field. See that the type is text, but what I want to do is to add a placeholder to it, and I'll type in their five-digit code. Now to enforce that format, I need to enter a regular expression in the pattern field. A regular expression is a pattern for matching text. It uses a combination of literal text and characters, or pairs of characters, with special meanings. For example, backslash D represents a single digit. Putting the number 5 in a pair of curly braces immediately after the backslash D means match exactly five digits. Now for the date, I'm going to add a placeholder, which will be mm slash dd slash yyyy. Now, the regular expression to enforce this particular date format is quite complex, so I've already prepared it in this file called regex.txt. Regex is a short expression for regular expression. In this file, there are three different regular expressions to enforce mm slash ddyyy, which is the American style, then the European style, which puts the date before the month, and then finally, the style which is commonly used in East Asia, which puts the year before the month before the date. So I'm going to select the regex for the American date format and copy it to my clipboard by using Control c on Windows or Command-C on a Mac. Then go back to my form and in the pattern field in the Tag Inspector, I'll paste it using Control v on Windows or Command V on a Mac. There we are. It's rather a long expression, but if we just save it and then view the page again in Chrome, yes, it's enforcing it correctly. Unfortunately, regular expressions aren't easy to learn, but I've written a two-part tutorial for the Dreamweaver Developer Center, which offers a gentle introduction to the subject. The URLs are here. And you can also find a lot more information on regular expressions on these two websites. The first one is run by Jan Goivitz, the co-author of Regular Expressions Cookbook, which is an invaluable resource for any serious programmer.